Hi, I'm Agile Bob, and welcome to Fearless Friday. Today, I'm going to start out by making you uncomfortable. Just watch. Did the silence make you uncomfortable? I know it made me uncomfortable waiting for 10 seconds to talk again. And I know that when I'm on the other end of that from someone else, when they're being silent, it makes me uncomfortable. It turns out humans just don't like silence a lot when they're expecting something other than silence. I don't mind silence when I'm trying to sleep, for example. But when I'm expecting someone to talk to me and then they don't, that makes me uncomfortable. And I want, I want to use this uncomfortableness to help your team get better. At retrospectives, people are supposed to be a little bit uncomfortable. We're talking about problems after all, and problems make us uncomfortable. But sometimes we get so uncomfortable, we don't actually talk about the real problems. So you can use silence to help you bridge that gap. Next time you have a retrospective, try a silent retrospective. The facilitator is the only one who can talk. You need to write, use post-it notes, gesture, draw, whatever it is, but you're not allowed to speak. This lets people communicate in very different ways, and it makes them a little bit uncomfortable, but also more creative at the same time. So try a silent retrospective, see what happens. There's good information on the web about it. Just search for silent retrospective. I'm sure you'll find some great stuff on Google. Give it a shot. Let me know what happens in the comments. If you like this video, press the like button. If you want more like it, press subscribe. Until next time, I'm Agile Bob signing off. Thank you